Hi, welcome to this first video in the series where we look at using visual implant elastomer to mark terrestrial salamanders. My name is David, and in this first video, I'm going to focus on how we mix the elastomer, and I'll discuss some options for how we can store it so that way it'll be ready for the field. To begin with, let's take a look at the materials we'll need. I'll be using this kit provided by Northwest Marine Technology, which comes in its own handy dandy toolbox. And inside, here are some of the materials we'll need. First, we'll need toothpicks in order to mix and load the elastomer into syringes. Next, we'll need the different color dyes that we're going to be using. The next thing we'll need is the binding agent or the curing agent. We'll need wax paper or some other convenient material in order to mix the elastomer on. And finally, we'll need a pack of insulin syringes. These are 29 gauge. Next, let's inspect the elastomer syringes. In the dye syringe, we can see that it is marked in tenths of a milliliter. For the curing agent, it is marked in hundredths of a milliliter. That's because whenever we mix this, there needs to be a 10 to 1 ratio. So 10 parts dye to one part curing agent. Thankfully, that means all we have to do is put in one dash marks worth of dye and one dash marks worth of curing agent. To begin mixing, we'll put in our 10 parts dye, which will be one dash mark. Next, and this is the trickiest part, is getting our, hunt, our one part dye, our curing agent. Next, and this is the hard part, is getting our one part curing agent. After that, it's the easy process of just mixing the two together. It's very important here to mix it thoroughly so that way the curing agent and the dyes are well mixed together. So now that it's mixed together, we can go to loading the syringes. So now that we have our dye well mixed and the elastomer all bonded, we can start loading them into our insulin syringes. Here we just pop up the caps, pull out the plunger, and it's important to not overload each syringe. More than likely, a syringe will go dull before you can use all the elastomer in it. So I like to keep syringes with a very little amount of elastomer in them. It's a surprisingly small amount that goes into giving an individual each mark. And so by keeping a small amount of elastomer in syringe, we can prevent throwing the elastomer away. So we get a little bit of elastomer on the toothpick, slide it in to the syringe. And at the end, we should see just a tiny little bit down at the bottom. You definitely do not want more than one mark for marking plethodontid salamanders. You might want to load syringes with more if you're going to be large, marking larger amphibians, such as embistamids or vernal pool breeding salamanders. 
Now that we've mixed the elastomer and loaded them into the syringes, we can take these and store them in the freezer until we're ready to go out into the field. By keeping them in the freezer, they can last up to one to two months before being used without hardening. The warmer they're kept, the faster they're har they'll harden and become unusable. Obviously here, I'm using these needles to mark terrestrial salamanders, so the amount of elastomer you'd load into a syringe, or the amount you might make in a single time, will change depending on what specimens you're trying to mark.